and now we will discuss about the very important case case number three right my students always ask a question that sir how can we find only spherical correction as our prescription from optical cross of the retinoscopy how can we find only spherical correction right so suppose our 90 meridian is neutralized is at uh, you can say plus 4 right and this meridian is neutralized at plus 4 as well both of the meridians are neutralized at same lens 90 meridian is neutralized at plus 4 180 meridian is neutralized at plus 4 both of the meridians got the same values of neutralization right so if working distance is 67 centimeter mean 1.5 diopters and neutral points are plus 4 and plus 4 are the same so we have to deduct this 1.5 from both of these values and we will deduct algebraically we will take care of the signs 1.5 we will deduct 1.5 right and if we deduct these values from plus 4 to minus 5 1.5 my math is so weak so plus 4 we have to deduct plus 4 we have to deduct minus 1.5 from plus 4 and it would be plus 2.5 i hope it's right so we have to deduct minus 1.5 from plus 4 and the value is 2.5 so what about the sign i repeat over and over again that as the bigger value is plus 4 the bigger value is 4 and the sign with the bigger value or greater value is plus so we have to put the plus sign over here right and what about this one and if we deduct plus 4 from uh, if we deduct 1.5 from plus 4 the value is the same 2.5 sign is the same plus so now you can choose as your sphere this 2.5 or this 2.5 this is your choice suppose i choose this one as my sphere so plus 2.5 is my sphere so what will we do to gain the cylinder right we actually have to move from plus 2.5 to plus 2.5 gap is nothing gap is zero right so our cylinder is zero right so here you can see our prescription is in just spherical form your concluded prescription can be in just spherical form in just cylindrical form or both spherocylindrical a toric prescription so actually the conclusion of the case number three if we want a net prescription if we want a final concluded prescription in just spherical form so the condition is are both meridians 90 and 180 horizontal and vertical must be neutralized as the same neutral point right so in this case in this form in this condition we can get our net retinoscopy or final prescription as just spherical form and now we will discuss about the case number four which is final and this case is about that how can we find our final prescription as just cylindrical form suppose this is optical cross and in this case you must know in this case at least your one meridian should be neutralized at zero before working this before uh, detecting the working distance or after deducting the working distance right one meridian should be must be neutralized at zero how suppose 90 meridian is neutralized at um, you can say plus 2 and this meridian is neutralized at plus 1.5 for example right so 90 meridian is neutralized at plus 2 and this meridian is neutralized at plus 1.5 right so working distance is the same 67 centimeter right which is 1.5 diopters so we have to deduct 1.5 from plus 2 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 so again if we deduct 
minus 1.5 from plus 2 then the final value is 0 0.5 sine is with the greater value which is 2 sine is plus right so now we have to deduct minus 1.5 from plus 1.5 and if we deduct both of these the final prescription is 0 right so now if you want to make if you want to find the final prescription how can you find it if we suppose if if right if you take 0 as our spherical correction so 0 is our spherical correction then to find the cylinder we actually have to move from 0 to 1 0 to 0 0.5 so the gap between 0 to 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 simple right this is 0 0.5 and what about the sign now again i will repeat over and over again so you can make it clear so we will move from 0 to 0 0.5 the gap is 0 0.5 the value is fine cylinder is fine now what about the sign you can see which we are actually moving from 0 to plus direction right we are moving towards the plus direction it's plus 0 0.5 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 4 5 6 7 8 we are actually moving towards the plus direction so sign would be in plus form right what about the axis because we take 0 as our sphere and 0 is at 180 meridian so our axis would be 180 degree right right and now as you can see that our final prescription in is in just cylindrical form which is plus 0 0.5 at 180 degree right and if you transpose it this is 0 you can transpose it as well then you can find a prescription in a different way right now as we take 0 as our sphere right then our final prescription is in is in just cylindrical form right you can transpose it as well so what is transposition you know that there are three different steps of transposition that we have to add cylinder into spherical right and when we add cylinder into spherical cylinder is 0 0.5 sphere is 0 then we add 0 into 0 0.5 then the net value would be 0 0.5 this is our sphere and second step of the transposition is change the sign of the cylinder what is the sign of the cylinder plus then we have to just change the sign of the cylinder and what is the third step of the transposition we have to rotate the axis 90 apart if our axis are 180 then we will move to 90 so this prescription can be uh, can can we can write it in this way as well right in just cylindrical form or in sephiro cylindrical form and that was all about the every single basic concept of the optical cross in retinoscopy and in the next videos we will come up with the more informations regarding retinoscope and cycloplegic refraction